I'm doing excellent, man. Woo! So you, you My meet, brother. You meet Pitchfork? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We're we're we're, we're buddies we now. We yeah, we went go way back. Yeah. Like way back. Way you know back. what I mean? We are brothers from a different mother. That's right. Woo! Same mailman though. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Same mailman. <laughs> Well, we're here at courtside to stand up for 10 good police officers who did the right thing. Okay. 80% of the police force refused to follow unlawful orders. And that's what we're all about as Oath Keepers, and so it's a natural fit for us. we got to come here and honor them to get other police officers across the country to follow their example. They set the, they set the pace, and then we hope the rest of the country will do likewise. When you step up in mass like that, it's an unstoppable moral force that will turn things around. So we encourage police officers across the country to look at what these 10 officers did here and do likewise. Go forth and do likewise. So we're here to honor them. Cool. And what's your name? Stuart Rose, founder of Oath Keepers. Okay. And what's and I guess the website is? Oathkeepers.org. Okay. Cool. Give me a little beach on Oath Keepers. Well, what we're all about is keeping the oath. Because if we all kept the oath, all of those, those of us who serve in the military, in the police forces, and as first responders, whether we're current serving or retired, if we kept our oath, our country would not be in a situation it's in today, losing our freedoms. We would be a much stronger country, we would be a financially sound country, that all follows from simply following the design of the founders and actually keeping our oath to defend the Constitution. If we do that, this country will be saved. If we don't do that, this country will fall. Simple as that. So we're here today to honor 10 good cops who are keeping their oath to show the right path to the rest of the country. And also, a good mayor here who stood up against what he perceived as corruption and abuse of power. And citizen activists here, Jennifer Jones and Michael Roth, two Ron Paul citizen activists who are carrying on the Ron Paul revolution from the ground up. A very peaceful uh, restoration of the republic from the bottom up that we have to have and it starts right here at courtside. The rest of the country is the same thing. If you folks out there will sweep your own porch clean in your own community and square away your town, kick out the oath breakers, the corruption, the good old boy network, kick them out, put constitutionalists in positions of authority in your county, in your city, in your state, you will restore the republic. If we all do that together, it can be overstored, it can be restored within a matter of a couple of years. All it's going to take is 3%, right? Well, it takes more than that, though, to take back City Hall and take back the county. It takes people keeping their oath and honoring the Constitution. If we just simply do that, we will, we will save this country. If we don't, we won't. You're an attorney or a, a lawyer? Yes I, yes, I am. But I first took the oath as a paratrooper in the Army back when I was 18 years old, and that's the oath I care most about. Okay. I was willing to give my life save my country and serve my country. That's all the rest of you out there who were also. Everyone who's ever served has that common bond, being willing to lay their life on the line and bleed and die for this country. And a lot of us have. A lot of our brothers and sisters did not come home from war. A lot of us here are combat vets, and they, they saw their brothers and sisters die in war and combat. So to honor them and to keep our oath and make sure that their sacrifice was, for, was not for nothing, we must keep our oath. And my message to everybody out there is if you swore an oath to defend the Constitution, that's when you lost the option of ducking out and hiding from your responsibilities. You should be just like these folks here, standing up in public. If the government wants to put you on a dang list just for being an American, then by God, put me on the list like John Hancock said to the King George. Top of the list. Here's, here's my name right here, top of the Fucking list. Fucking top of the list, if that, boom. If that was our boom. attitude, if that was all of our attitudes in this country, we'd be an unstoppable force of liberty. We and are an unstoppable force. We are. Bang it. So get off the couch and get out there and do just like what you see right here today. That's what's got to be done in every town and every county across this nation and sweep out the corruption, sweep out the oath breakers, and replace them with constitutionalists who actually believe a sacred oath is just that, that it means something. Amen. Amen, brother. Hoo-wah! Let's march. All right. Thank you, Stuart.